Hi, my name is Daniela Ploegmakers and in this video I want to welcome you to this Biodanza.live community. And it doesn't matter whether you watch on the website Biodanza.live or on YouTube, uh, on the YouTube channel, I want to welcome you. And I want to invite you to leave comments, share, like, everything that you see. It's such an honor to... Um, that you invest your time in me and what I have to say about my Biodanza life. And what can you expect from my Biodanza life? Well, first of all, information about Biodanza. So I'm going to um, create videos where I talk about some things that are important into Biodanza and other things that uh, might not be. <laughs> no, but the things about Biodanza and uh, a lot of facilitators, when you follow a Biodanza class, you hear something about um, autoregulation or about Vivencia or Vivencia or the collective uh, unconscious or the um, personal unconscious and integration and all these terms. And when you're not, a f some facilitators are really good at in explaining it and other people aren't. So for those who aren't, but still want to have that deeper knowledge without instantly going to a Biodanza school and to follow training to become a Biodanza facilitator themselves, this is the channel for you. So that's one part of what I'm going to do. The other part what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you just by random videos about my life, what I uh, do to incorporate Biodanza into my life. When you do Biodanza, you know that Biodanza is a playing field where you can play to be a certain kind of way. And it's for you to decide for, okay, do I stay that way? Or do I want to change in another way? And if I change in another way, and in, in another way how will I do that? And what will I do to do that? And to give you an example, I show you my things. The things I do, the way that I'm living, uh, but it might not always be that you see examples of it. But when something happens to me and uh, when I feel something and I know there is a Biodanza way of looking at it, I will create a video for you. So you can also expect that. And what I'm planning to do is I want to interview a whole bunch of facilitators from all over the world. Um, I'm myself, I'm from the Netherlands, so you will see a lot of Dutch um, facilitators. But I also hope and cross your fingers, pray with me, a lot of uh, people from the Biodanza family. So think about uh, everybody who has Toro in his last name and other great people like Carlos Garcia, Antonio Sarpe, um, yeah, you name it, you name it. There are Hela and the Levy, this one in person, uh, not to forget. But I hope they are willing to do interviews me, with me and just be themselves and talk about Biodanza and what Biodanza does in their life and the experience they had with Rolando Toho. I mean, I once danced with him. There are people who follow, who trained years and years with him and they all have their own stories. They all have their own way of sharing on how to do things and I hope I can just capture that moment of memory and bring that onto the online world so we can share a lot about it. So that's what I hope to, do, to, to bring to you, that's what I'm trying to bring to you. And since uh, next, next, oh no, this year, it's, it's already January. This year, the Biodanza Congress is in the Netherlands. So I hope during that event, I will have a lot of possibilities and a lot of options to um, record uh, people doing interviews and maybe 
all the facilitators from all over the world. I mean, I heard there are people coming from Japan. People are coming from Japan to do biodanza in the Netherlands. That's freaking awesome. So why am I doing this? Why did I just wake up one, one day and I thought like, hey, let's start a biodanza vlog. Let's create videos about biodanza and not the dancing people because when you put biodanza on camera, it's crazy. It doesn't matter how good it is, it's crazy when you don't understand what is happening. So it's important when you want to show biodanza to the world that you learn them and teach them, educate them in what's happening. I mean, biodanza is just a method. You can put a whole lot of things in that method, but it has also a reason for doing it, a reason why biodanza exists. And when people understand that, then they are ready to go to a biodanza class. And you don't educate them by showing them a dance, because for them it's just a dance. And most of the time, biodanza isn't about choreography, so it's just about way movement and crazy movement and just be free. Or it's like the real transcendence exercises. Nah, you, you don't find that on YouTube. So and that was what I wanted to be, a resource of biodanza information. And I also hope to create a communi community of biodanza people who are uh, watching this all over the world, all over the world, and commenting and getting to know each other, and one day you might be dancing in Peru because you met people through my resource. I don't know. <laughs> Maybe I will be dancing over there. <laughs> I hope so because I love to travel the world. So that's another reason why I created this. Because I have this big, huge biodanza dream. It's, it's like a dream I have now for years. And that is that I want to facilitate a biodanza holiday on Bali. And I want to really put that in the world. So I thought I need people who know me. So they will be willing to go to Bali with me. And experience biodanza but we're not there yet so for now i want to thank you again for watching this video and um, please leave a comment uh, what you thought of it and uh, also give me ideas what videos are you missing what videos would you like uh, to see online so please leave a comment share like subscribe to the, the youtube channel and uh, Thank you for watching and until next time, live the Biodanza life.